Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank y'all for tuning in. Oh my gosh, you guys are truly amazing. Thank y'all so much for watching. So Thank you so much for the thumbs up. Thank you so much for the comments. While you're at it, hit that like, hit the subscribe. Let's get into today's video, guys. All right, right now, I'm just outside taking a break, just enjoying the moment, enjoying the outside, enjoying the fresh air. Simply because just hanging outside for 15, 20, 30 minutes a day, just enjoying the moment. Not thinking about work, not thinking about friends not thinking about family just thinking about the moment watching the birds fly just enjoying right now it really helps with anxiety it really helps with stress it helps with a lot of things guys i'm just saying give it a try give it a shot you never know could help you out if it doesn't that's okay one thing i will say guys is we all have dreams i know at least growing up i had dreams like i, I wanted to do these big things I wanted to do these great things but there's always this fear of what if it fails what if it stops and there was a statement somebody made the other day online i don't remember who it was but they made a comment and they said how big would you dream if you knew you could never fail and that's really like there's a lot to that and it's very important what i'm gonna say is this guys we all dream we all wish we all sit there and think about i could do this i could do that but we're afraid to take that step because we're afraid of failure we're afraid of getting laughed at we're afraid of getting made fun of what I'm going to say is this, guys. People are going to laugh at you. People are going to make fun of you. It's okay. It's part of life. Life isn't perfect, man. Life is cruel. But what I'm going to say is this. Chase your dreams. Go out there and get it. But you got to take that step from dreaming to doing. So if you needed to hear that, guys, we're going to go inside. We're going to talk about some stuff. I love y'all. See you on side. Ooh, hey, guys. Welcome inside the house. I know it's beautiful outside, but and I know it's been a minute since we've talked inside, but we got a lot of stuff going on. We are going to be going to Dallas here tomorrow, and so I'm trying to hurry up and get this information out to you guys simply because I've sat on it too long, and that's my fault. But I apologize, but it's okay. Let's start from the beginning so you kind of know what, how we evolved into where we're at today. All right, this right here is a Savage Impulse Chamber 300 Wing Mag, and this gun. Other than being heavy as heck, shoots phenomenal. It shoots phenomenal. But carrying it backwards just was just too freaking heavy. And so, oh, it just, it really pulls on your shoulder. This thing, as I believe, it was just over 11 pounds, I believe. You don't have to go back and check out the video where we weighed it. But I believe it's somewhere around 11 pounds, and it is heavy. You, you feel this thing when you grab it. It is all there. So, last year, knowing that, motivating from trying to get away from just having a heavy rifle pull on your shoulder. We actually upgraded to this whew, Savage 110 Ultralight and it's chambered in 6.5 PRC. And man, this thing shoots really good. We couldn't get, we had it about an MOA and then we put an Eric Cortina adjustable tuner brake on front and all of a sudden this thing goes from shooting an MOA to a sub MOA and shooting i believe i want to say is a half inch group something like that i have to go back and watch the video to check it out if not you guys go it's on the playlist but this gun shoots phenomenal we took it last year uh mule or uh, elk hunting actually and we chased some elk across the mountain and i gotta i gotta i gotta say this this rifle was really phenomenal as far as low weight it didn't feel like it was pulling on your shoulder and man with the vortex optic on top this gun was phenomenal and however the difference this year is, is Shauna says she wants to go with me, so I'm, I'm excited about that. But she said, babe, can I have a rifle to carry myself? So I said, okay. So I was looking for a secondary ultralight rifle that we can get, something that is uh, good shooting and has a lot of power at the, end of the, at, the end of the, at the end of the tunnel, but something that just she can manage on her own. So then we found this guy here. Oh. All right, so this right here is first and foremost, it is a 7 PRC. And I know there's a lot of stuff going out, going out on the internet in reference to 7 PRC. This is what I will say is I'm a kind of guy that I'm going to judge for myself. I'm going to do the data myself. I'm going to test it myself. I will figure out the truth myself. I don't necessarily believe if you sit there and tell me that guy over there is not a good guy, I'll decide for myself, guys. I appreciate the info, but I'll decide for myself. We have a chronograph. We're going to do a lot of data gathering on this rifle or my, here in the backyard, and then we'll make our decision on how good or bad this bullet really is. But for now, this is a Christensen Arms. 
It is a ridge line, and I <laughs> truly love the way this rifle looks. Um, I went with this model simply because it's not such a masculine camel, camel pattern. It could be for a man or a woman, in my opinion. And I kind of felt like it was a little bit closer to something Shauna would like. I know it is a right-handed rifle, and she is a lefty. Don't judge. She likes to shoot right-handed rifles. That's fine. And then get it for myself. I got it for her. This is a stainless steel barrel wrapped in arrow grade carbon fiber, I believe is how you say it. Um, man, as far as the fluted uh, bolt, and man, it has a carbon fiber bolt um, knob here. And man, I do like it as opposed to the Savage. The Savage is a little small when you go to grab it. This guy right here is just, I feel like it's a great size. It's not overly large like some of the Savages I've seen where the fact is when you put it in a gun safe, it takes up so much space on the side that it you have to leave extra room here simply because it's just too large. This thing here, I feel like it's just at a great angle. It's just long enough and just big enough that it is easy to get a hold of. I know the Savage, when you get it, you're like, it just feels small. Uh, as far as the trigger goes, the trigger, they do have a trigger take trigger in this thing. However, Timney just by chance sent us a trigger that will fit in this rifle so we actually did upgrade the trigger to a, a Timney trigger now as far as the pull goes we're getting anywhere between one pound four ounces to one pound six ounces Let's see what we can do right now for the camera there we go wait for the beep we're at one pound five six one pound one pound 6.6 ounces like i said it's just very just a little bit just by a few ounces not a huge deal but man the trigger is crisp uh we have three bullets for this rifle that we're going to be testing on it to see what it likes the most we'll get into that in a different video as far as this rifle goes man it has a nice butt plate on it uh man i have just tickled pink by the way this rifle looks the way it feels the way the trigger I'm truly fascinated with it. Now, we do have, and the reason I'm kind of hurrying up and bringing this into the channel is simply because we need to start collecting. We need to get sighted in, number one. Number two, we need to start collecting data with it so that we can take it long range shooting and get more and more comfortable with it. We need to be very confident with this rifle. We need to be very confident in our ballistics app before we go elk hunting. So that in and of itself is a lot of work. And so we, it's time we had to get this thing out of the closet and we needed to wipe the dust off and we need to get this thing rocking and rolling. We do have a can coming for this thing. I kind of, oh my gosh. I, I was kind of on the fence on a, on a on a suppressor for a hunting rifle. I just, but when the way it was presented to me was, if it gives you a better chance for a follow-up shot in case you miss or whatever, or maybe, maybe there's two animals you want to shoot at two, depending on what kind of tags you have, having a suppressor on there would give you a better chance to possibly have a secondary ch another chance for a secondary shot uh regardless i was like okay let's go for it um and we did get a can that was kind of we'll get in that another video guys no need to talk about it right now as far as the optics go of course gonna hop for the vortex baby uh vortex did send us this optic it is a is a viper 5 to 25 by 50 in this optic I, I i love this optic guys i have this this very optic on two other rifles uh the, from the reticle to the way it adjusts it is phenomenal i love everything about vortex i can't say enough uh but we'll get more into the optic when we actually start shooting the rifle but as far as the gun itself this is our new and improved i'm going to say improved elk rifle for the backwoods of 2024 and i am super super excited now we do have a chronograph we're going to be start collecting data and what i mean by that guys is that um when you're shooting long range you need data and i need bullet speed which i know that's caused a lot of controversy online that's fine i'll judge for myself guys it is what it is you need bullet speed you need all that kind of stuff so you can enter into a ballistics app and it helps give you dope which dope is uh, data on previous engagement basically the data is there you enter a little bit of information and it, it kind of helps guide you on your elevation windage stuff like that but we'll get into all that in another video but ultimately this right here was a gift to shauna for her birthday and thank you vortex thank you christensen the good thing i do like about christensen is they have a sub moa look at the dog running around they do have a sub moa guarantee so i'm truly excited to figure out what ammo it likes 
and get this thing rocking and rolling, baby. Man, I am excited. The channel's doing great things. Thanks to y'all. Thanks for the likes. Thanks for the comments, guys. I do appreciate it. I love every single one of you. I, I know I don't always return comments. I do apologize. I, I have a lot going on. But hey, if you go over to my Instagram, there'll be a link in the bio. You can always shoot me a message there. I'm more likely to respond to that than I am to a comment on YouTube simply because that kind of stuff gets a little crazy sometimes and I just, it gets a little overwhelming. So, but hook me up on Instagram. Give me a follow over there, guys. I greatly appreciate it. Anyways, I love y'all. More to come on this rifle, more to come on this optic, more to come on the channel. I just can't talk about so many things right now, but I love y'all. I'll see y'all very, very soon.